that, Lexi. Angry locals are protesting against the opening of a new McDonald's outlet in Melbourne's Yarra Ranges today. Sunrise reporter Beck Madden is at Tacoma. Beck, this has been controversial from day one. Yeah, it certainly has been, and despite the doors set to open around 10.30 this morning, the protesters are certainly out here in full force this morning. There's about 40 of them. This fight goes back to 2011 when they first heard about... Uh, a McDonald's putting in the application for this building to go ahead. They simply say that it's inappropriate in this region to have uh, a McDonald's outlet. They say people come to this region uh, and the Dandenong Rangers for Devonshire tea, not burgers. There's been a lot of police here this morning and a lot of protesters as well. We'll keep you up to date with any developments as they come to hand, Nat. OK, thanks very much, Beck. Promising to keep up their bun fight. Sunrise reporter Beck Madden is at Tacoma watching the bun fight unfold. Uh, this has been the centre of a long legal battle, Beck. Very clever, that. Yeah, it really has been a really long fight. And these protesters, despite the doors opening at 10.30 this morning, aren't giving up. To introduce you to, to Gary Maratore. Gary, you've been the spokesperson for this group. Have you essentially lost the fight? The building is built and the doors are opening this morning. Not at all. This is just one battle in a greater war. McDonald's would like to get these type of drive-throughs throughout the Dandenongs. We've pressured the local council pretty hard. They've changed their planning amendments. We're waiting for Matthew to sign off on that. They can't get one into a why is it so important for you not to have a McDonald's in this area? Well, it's all about democracy. 1,170 people wrote objections to the council. That was a record. 1,000 people turned up at the council meeting. That was a record. The council voted 9-0. That's where it should have finished. McDonald's went to VK, spent a million dollars, and they overturned a democratic council decision. That's just wrong. Thank you very much for joining us, Gary. There are about 40, 50 protesters here this morning and a lot of police as well. We'll keep you up to date with any developments, Nat. OK, thank you. And three years of fierce protests have failed to stop a McDonald's restaurant opening in Tacoma, east of Melbourne. The proposal has been bitterly fought by local residents. They even took their demonstration to McDonald's global headquarters in the United States. This is just one battle in a greater war. McDonald's would like to get these type of drive throughs throughout the Dandenongs. We've pressured the local council pretty hard. They've changed their planning amendments. We're waiting for Matthew Guy to sign off on that. They can't get one into Olympia. They can't get one into Emerald. We're winning this battle. The new Tacoma McDonald's opens for business today. And the restaurant's owner and operator, James Curry, joins us now. James, mate, do you feel under siege? <laughs> uh, no, I don't actually, uh, Koshi. I'm absolutely excited and uh, you know, keen to open the restaurant. We've just created over 100 new jobs in the area. You know, we've just uh, we've had all the staff in last night and their parents. Uh, they're absolutely wrapped at how the building looks. Uh, we think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. As part of the planning process, we've been able to design a restaurant that we believe fits into the Tacoma uh, streetscape beautifully. And uh, look, I'm absolutely excited about uh, opening a great restaurant. Um, the, the demonstrators are saying they're not going to give up the fight. They're going to continue protesting and sort of try and turn customers away. What's your message to them, to the protesters? Oh, look, everyone has the right to uh, protest. We live in a, a free country. That's the beauty about living in Australia. Uh, I respect their opinion uh, to have a different opinion. As long as they do so peacefully and lawfully, then uh, I don't have an issue with it. What do you say to them, though, when they say, look, the Dandenongs is a very different area, that, that there's no need for a McDonald's, it's, it's sort of quainter, McDonald's doesn't fit in? Well, I, I believe it does fit in. Um, there's, uh, a, we're on busy Burwood Highway, we've got a, a petrol station, we've got other shops in the area, there's a chicken shop, a uh, fish and chip shop and a couple of pizza shops in the, in the strip, a bakery. Right. You know, we'd love people to come to Tacoma and stop here and uh, look at the other unique uh, trading shops that are here as well. And uh, I think it absolutely fits in. We're on busy Burwood Highway and there's nearly 30,000 people in the local area. OK, so you're not tucked away in a national park or anything, it's, it's actually in a commercial shopping strip. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a BP service station across the road and we're at the gateways to the Dandenongs, which is fantastic for us. Um, mm. We encourage people to come up and look at the Dandenongs and enjoy everything that it has okay. to offer. All right. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate your time. Oh, no problems, Dave. Mm. You intend to see if people could use it, won't it, after all of this? Well, yeah. Hmm. Most do. You know, it's the biggest restaurant chain in the world. I know. And but I think it's brilliant these people didn't want 
fast food yeah. in this day and age with our obesity well, crisis. Good on them. Anyway. Yeah, you get salads at McDonald's and stuff like that as well. And it's great, it's great for young kids. Like, uh, we had a um, uh, policy in our house when the kids turned 14 years and nine months they had to work at McDonald's because it's just great training for them, for oh. young Australians. Right. It's fabulous. Okay. Right. Each to their own if you like yeah. fast food. <laughs> when we come back, the tough new rules for drivers, they start... Angry locals are protesting against the opening of a new McDonald's outlet in Melbourne's Yarra Ranges today. Sunrise reporter Beck Madden is at Tacoma. Beck, what are they hoping to achieve? Because it's about to open, isn't it? It is indeed, Nat. Well, a few years ago when this protest began, they were trying to stop the building of this McDonald's altogether. As you say, obviously, that hasn't been successful, but they've really tried everything in their power to do so, including a trip to uh, McDonald's headquarters in Chicago. But as you say, the doors are set to open about 10.30 this morning. So at this point, all they're left really to be able to do is make this store unprofitable, and that's exactly their intentions from this point. There's been about 50 protesters here since early this morning, since about 6 a.m and they say their main intent now is to make this store unprofitable. It's going to be very interesting to see who's game enough to actually be the first customer here this morning, Nat. Exactly. OK, thanks, Beck, for keeping, keeping us up to date from Tacoma there. Coming up this...